It's Casey Plans here. I did some grocery shopping over the last few days. Um, haven't been filming my finance videos because I cannot get cash out at the moment and it's very hard to cash stuff if you can't get cash out of the machine. So uh, this is my current fridge. Um, I'm trying to wean myself off Ozempec. Um, financially, I'm doing okay guys, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep making those videos. It is proving very difficult at the moment to try and do cash and I'm getting frustrated. So. Um, I'm not doing too badly financially. Um, I'll just show you these little pork rushes I've got cooking in my slow cooker. How good does that look? Yum. Makes them nice and gooey. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of meat here. Um, I have been coming off processed foods after listening to the audiobook Ultra Processed People. And so all of this um, is just a result of me ever so slowly cutting out all of the crap, all the chemicals, all of the fake sugars. And this is where I've ended up. It's an experiment. I don't know if it's gonna last guys. I'm on day three and we'll just see where it takes me. So I thought I'd share my shopping because I know you guys used to like those videos. Um, so I'm sorry I keep swapping and changing what I'm doing on the channel guys. It's just kind of a, an ebb and flow thing with me. <laughs> I should just call it the whatever floats my boat channel. That would probably be more accurate. So um, today I did splurge um, 100%. I bought a pork roast at Coles. Um, it was 20 bucks. So that's a quarter of my shop right there. Um, I also bought some pork crackle. Um, it has canola oil in it, oil in it, which I'm not a fan of, but it was the least chemically additive um, pork crackle I could find, which is my goal at the moment to try and eat as clean as possible. And the idea is that you crunch these down into to basically replacing breadcrumbs. And there's a recipe I'm making later with uh, this bacon, um, also some chicken mince that's in my fridge, and um, it's basically chicken and bacon balls, and you add an egg and you also add some pork crackle and some cheese. Um, so my goal, even though there's some cheese here and there's a ton in the fridge, my goal, guys, is just to have cheese as a condiment. Um, it's just they've had some sales lately, so I stocked up. Um, I also picked up um, some scallop meat, so I'm gonna do bacon scallops. Um, I also grabbed some marinara mix for the dogs. They still love to have that as a topper with their food. Um, I got the uh, ice cream scoop so that I would be able to make the um, meatballs the same size. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, it's something that um, there's a lady called Laura. Oh, I can't remember her last name. SP something or another. Anyway, she's on. She does like a dirty carnivore diet, um, which is where um, she basically sticks to animal and all based products, but has like the occasional pickle or something. So <laughs> um, basically she makes meatballs and she uses a scoop and I thought that's probably a good idea. Um, and then she goes ahead and just freezes them raw and then she cooks them up in the air fryer. And so I'm doing something similar like that today. And then I'll also try it with beef and bacon and see if I like those more. Um, just trying to try different types of meats at the moment. So I also got a meat thermometer. I got some pepperoni because I would love to make a carnival pizza at some stage, which is where you sometimes use chicken mince as your base uh, with like some herbs and spices if, if you can tolerate them. And then you have like chicken um, and then you also top it with like some pepperoni and some cheese. Um, some people put other stuff as well, like little meatballs and things. Um, so yeah, it's just a, a way to do it, something different. Um, and I also bought chicken wings, which Pell can eat, um, and I could chuck a few in the air fry with some seasonings, and I'll see if I like them. I'm not sure. I've never been someone who, you know, eats a lot of chicken anyway, but we'll give it a whirl. Um, so that's kind of what I'm up to, guys, and you've had a look at what's in my fridge, what's in my little slow cooker over there. So... That's kind of what I'm doing. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Um, you can see off the side here, I've got the electrolytes going, um, making sure I keep my water intake up, which has never been my strong point. But I gotta say, since giving up the Coke No Sugar guys, I'm drinking more water. Um, so that's definitely helping. So that's today's shop. Um, just under $85 spent at Kohl's. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys with another video soon. Bye for now.